Hi everyone, it's Kunihiro. Thank you for coming back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you my way of how to make pressed mackerel sushi. Previously I showed you how to prepare regular mackerel sushi, so this time I'm going to show you a different style of mackerel sushi. It's very easy to make and it's my favorite way of eating mackerel. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so these are today's ingredients. So I have marinated mackerel, nikiri soy sauce, sushi ginger, sea salt, and sushi rice. I showed how to prepare mackerel in my previous video. So if you haven't watched it yet, please check it out. Also, you can get the recipe for nikiri soy sauce in this video. But if you don't have time to make it, regular soy sauce is fine. This is regular sushi ginger, which you can find at any Asian grocery store. We call it gari. And this is regular sea salt. But since I will sprinkle it over finished sushi today, I finely ground it with a blender. Because if you don't do it, you will feel the grains of the salt when you eat the sushi. So I recommend doing it. Or you can buy extra fine salt. That's fine too. And since I will sear my sushi today, I'm going to use a blowtorch. This is a very important tool when I make sushi. Because by searing fish, you can enjoy a different taste of it. Seared sushi is very popular nowadays, so I use this very often. Alright, let's get started. So first, please squeeze the juice out of the sushi ginger. Then mince the sushi ginger. And next, you need plain water to wet your hands and sushi rice. Take a little bit of water and spread it on your palms, like this. And grab about 130 grams of rice and make a big rice bowl. Please do it with a light touch. And next, elongate the rice bowl on the cutting board. The preferred length is the length of a seaweed sheet. So let me elongate it a little more. Okay, this is good. Then set the rice aside. And next time I'm gonna peel the skin of the mackerel. Always start peeling from the head side. Peel it little by little. And move your left hand, like I do, as you move toward the tail. Then you can get a nice clean edge. Flip it over and place it skin side down. And now, I will slice the mackerel and place those slices on top of the rice. The first piece is a kind of ugly piece, so I'm not using it. It's my snack. So I start using from the second slice. But the tail end is a little firmer than the rest of the flesh. So you have to score the slice a few times. Otherwise the slice won't bend and it will not stick to the rice. From the third slice, you can just slice it and put it on top of the rice. I usually use 6 or 7 slices and the thickness of the each slice is about 4 millimeters. So it's not too thick, not too thin. And when you do this, please make sure that the silver skin is facing up. Because without searing the silver skin, we can't bring the most flavor out of mackerel. Next, cover the sushi with a plastic wrap. Then I'm gonna cover it with a bamboo mat. Make sure smooth side down. 
and press the side. Also press the top. I'm trying to make a square shape. Then move the bamboo mat and do the same to the other side. Okay, this is good. Then get a bowl of water. Wet your knife a little bit. And cut this into 8 pieces. You don't need the power to cut it, but you have to move your knife fast. So rhythm is very important when you cut it. You'll hear the same sound each time I cut. And reshape with a bamboo mat. Like this. Then you can take off the wrap. Wet your knife one more time. Then run the knife under the rice and detach the sushi from the cutting board. And immediately separate each piece and angle them. If you don't do this right away, they will stick to each other again and it will be very difficult to handle in later steps. Now please place all the sushi on a plate and let's see the sushi next. Since mackerel is oily fish, it gets cooked very quickly, so don't stay on the same spot for too long, because we don't want to cook the fish completely. Rotate the plate and sear the other side as well. The sushi rice also gets seared a little bit, but you don't have to worry about it. Sushi rice also becomes tastier with a little sear. Okay, that's it. After searing mackerel, the plate becomes really greasy with splattered fish oil. So please change the plate. Look how greasy it got. We don't want to serve anything with a plate like this. Right, let's complete the dish. So first, please brush a little bit of nikiri soy sauce. Then sprinkle a little bit of sea salt. It brings out the best flavor of seared mackerel. And in the end, top the sushi with minced ginger. Ginger goes with mackerel really well. Clean the plate and that's it. Now, your delicious pressed mackerel sushi is ready. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. So if you did, please hit the like button and leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.